All right, students, this quick walkthrough should help you to run standard deviations and other useful dispersion statistics in SPSS. Uh, we'll be using our old friend, homelesspersons161.save. So if you haven't already, open that up in your SPSS program or the school's SPSS program, whichever one you're using. And once you have the data set open, we're going to click Analyze. We're going to go down to Descriptive Statistics and click Frequencies. And first we're going to pick our variable. I've picked age. And what I want to do with that is just put it over in the box using the arrow key. Then I click Statistics. And I'm going to go ahead and turn in central tendency statistics like mean, median, and mode. After all, standard deviation isn't very useful unless you know what values of your variable are deviating from. Uh, once we turn these on, we can go ahead and turn on standard deviation. You can turn on variance if you like, which is simply standard deviation squared. Uh, we can turn on range. And we can also turn on minimum and maximum. Uh, I like to use minimum and maximum instead of range. Um, it just tells me a little bit more about my variable compared to range. So once I've done that, we can click continue. And then you can unclick this uh, display frequency tables box otherwise we end up with a really long table for age and if we did everything right we should be able to click OK and we'll have our statistics right in front of us. Uh, now we can see that amongst the homeless persons in the uh, homeless persons 161 data set the mean or average age was 37.12 years the median age was 37.00 years and the mode was 38 years um, so it's looking pretty good in terms of normal distribution for uh, the Homeless Persons 161 data set uh, with regards to age. Um, if we look at standard deviation, our standard deviation is telling us that um, one standard deviation is 9.668 years above or below uh, 37.12 years. So you're looking at about 66 to 68% of the uh, people in this data set being somewhere between 28 years old and about 46 or 47 years old. Uh, we can see our variance which again is just standard deviation squared and we can also see we have a range of 55 so our participants range from 18 to 73. That tells us that uh, they didn't interview people under the age of 18 in this data set. Um, so we have a good reason to suspect that this variable is normally distributed. There's, there doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about this, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Graphs, Legacy Dialogues, and then click Histogram to check. Now I'll put age into the variable box, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the display no normal curve. It'll try and draw a normal curve over the histogram uh, so you can see how well the data fits that curve. Once you've done that, click OK. And you should be able to scroll down and look at your histogram with a normal curve. And in this case, it does look like um, age is pretty normally distributed. We do have a couple of outliers towards the older ages, which we should expect because they didn't interview any younger people to balance that out. Um, but, you know, I like to run histograms when I'm not sure how normally distributed a uh, variable is. Uh, but in this case, it looks like they're doing pretty good. Uh, so you'll have some homework to um, create and then interpret the standard deviation of a few variables. Uh, nothing too complicated, and I hope you've enjoyed this screencast.